Hi guys, in the previous video we inserted a new field uh, birth date and that was uh, a date time field and the reason was because uh, of possible future calculations with that date we uh, avoided a text field and we 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 uh, you, uh, we put birth date uh, of type date time. Now I wish to uh, insert a new field and that is basically between position and telephone number and the way to do that like I explained in the previous video if you want to change the, anything in the structure of your table you have to go to the design view and uh, if uh, like I mentioned like uh, if you wish to insert a field between two fields just select the lower field the, the field above which the new field or the new row is supposed to uh, uh, come and in this in this instance I, I select telephone number and I s go to insert rows and the new row would come above telephone number because I selected telephone number I'm going to call that starting time and again uh, that's going to be uh, of uh, uh, type date time because again here I might probably will uh, want to calculate uh, how long people work and uh, obviously to do such calculations I would have at some point also include the end time but uh, basically stuff like that and as we've seen in a previous video all those formatting stuff uh, that we did with the with the birth date with um, uh, D M and Y uh, this kind of stuff uh, cannot be done with the text field same thing here same reasoning here anything anytime I'm dealing with times or dates I would uh, need to take a, a, a date time field again here some uh, uh, I, we used in the in the in, I think it was in the second video we, we set telephone numbers to text well here I know that I'm not gonna calculate anything with those telephone numbers so uh, uh, I have them as text and it's much cheaper having them as text than uh, a, a number and um, obviously if I if I'm building an access application with which I'm gonna be adding and multiplying telephone numbers obviously then I would have to do uh, change that to a number but in most instances uh, you never add those or, or, or do any arithmetic with those numbers okay back to starting time I got my field starting time now let me go uh, obviously I've got to save now uh, a shortcut to saving now one way to save is basically let me just the lower that window here one way to save is basically always click on that thing but a much faster way uh, especially if you're doing uh, if you're doing a lot of changes like we're doing here in the video just press Control s and you would save I'm pressing control s I saved now I'll go back to view and here's my starting time and start and times are, are uh, get input this way let's say I uh, this guy starts at 815 uh, uh, 8 uh, colon 50 and I got it and you see automatically uh, I get like uh, 8 15 and 0 0 because I get, uh, I didn't input any seconds let's let's try the second one let's let's give this guy some seconds so 9 colon 30 colon seconds let's say 25 so and so on let me get the third guy 11 colon uh, 15 next guy uh, 12 and the next guy is 10 45 and the last guy is 9.30. Okay, so I got my times. Now, like with the, with the dates, you can also format your times. Let's go back to the design view. And uh, here, uh, we're starting time. And here, if I click in formats, I got the same drop down as before. Those first three apply to dates, and those, uh, or sorry, the first four apply to dates, and the final three apply to times. Now, again here, that's, that's too limited for me. So I'm gonna, gonna show you three building blocks which we use for times, and it's those guys here. So, like with the with the with the D and the M pre in the previous video with the, with days and months, same thing applies here for H. H is for hours. One H shows the hour without leading zero. Double H shows the hour with leading zero. Shows the shows the minutes without leading zero double M shows the minutes with leading zero same thing with us uh, with s one s shows uh, the seconds double s shows um, the seconds with leading zero and here are some sample combinations of these two, uh, building blocks here you got the times without seconds here you got the times with seconds okay 
And let's try some 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 of these samples in our axis. So okay, let me try it out. Let's say I'm just interested in the hours. So I just say H. And I go to my uh, gotta save and go to my view and I see here you just get the times, right? Now, if I need uh, the hours in leading, zero, I got it like this, Add, uh, save, forgot to save, and here we are, right, okay, and there we go, and, and I can do a complex, like with the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the birth date, you can also add some text, let's say, I can say like uh, at HH, and then uh, I just uh, open up quotation marks and, and write uh, space to have to have to have a space between the, the the time itself and the text and then I write uh, o'clock and close quotations and then I small o right okay and save and go and now I got o eight o'clock o nine o'clock and so on right so I can do the same thing the ca same kind of stuff we did previously with uh, birth date. Same thing, except here, because we're dealing with times, we're not dealing with D, M, and Y, but with H, M, and S as building blocks, right? And I can also write something like that. Let's say uh, M, M, that's the minutes. Then I add a text. I open quotations, space, past. Again, space, close quotations, H, H, these are the hours. And then again, quotations, space, O, clock, close quotations. So here, with this format, I'm saying so many minutes past this hour o'clock. Okay, and if I save it, let's see. And again, here we got those, uh, we got those, um, uh, I don't know what they call them, hashes or, or um, um. anyways, when you see these, you, what you do, your field is too small, you just, expand it widen it up and you got it and you see here i got like 12 past 08 o'clock maybe the o is is not a good idea so i just go back remove the leading zero basically have it just h save it go back and now i got this format 12 past 8 o'clock 12 past 9 o'clock 12 past 11 o'clock and so on right oh another thing uh, that's why we always have 12 here. Uh, another thing I have to remember is that in axis, uh, uh, because in, 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 uh, in German systems you have big M and small M's, in, uh, in international systems you don't, uh, the minutes are in N's. Because N is month and N is uh, the minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna change that here. Mistake for me. Because what happens is, if you, if I'm gonna show you, if you, uh, let me just uh, cut that out. If I put HH MM and go out, access changes automatically to NN because it, it recognizes these are minutes. But if you write a complex format like that, access doesn't change it automatically. So you have to do it here. And NN is basically the minutes format. Not, not small m, because small m is months, and that's why we had 12, but nn. And now, we sh if I save it, I should get the right thing. See, that's I got like the minutes here. And this guy started at 12, he has zero, right? So, don't forget, small m is for here, birthday. Small m is for uh, months, whereas uh, at, in times, with, with minutes, you have n n okay and if you if you write any these any normal any normal uh, uh, custom format without any text let's say h h m m s s access changes automatically to n that's why i i completely uh, forgot about that here but it's basically this is the the the, the right list okay right great so now we have our our uh, let me just uh, put our, our our old thing back again and just uh, change that to an end right and yes save and here we have our date format now one thing I want to emphasize yet again is 
my starting time looks like that but I have to input it this way first the hours then the minutes then the seconds regardless of how it looks time input is always the same H M S hours minutes seconds what you then do with your formatting here with the formatting I can put the minutes ahead of the hours that's okay but the input is always the same don't forget that you can impossibly input this stuff you're, you're, you're not gonna get anything you input your times this way hours minutes seconds have the minutes in front of the hours like I did here it doesn't matter same thing with the dates the dates you know depending on your on your on your uh, system you either like most European systems you input uh, day month year I don't know I'm not so sure about the US system but it could be that you input day month year or first the month then the day and then the year anyways the, what I want to say the input is always the same be it date or st uh, or uh, time but then the way you format those things it's a completely different issue right now we're just going to do a final field and we're going to add a final field right at the end of the table and that's going to uh, uh, show when was the last time I contacted these people and that field is going to be a combination of date and time so let's build it I go back to my design view because again I'm changing the structure of the table I'm going to call it last uh, contact and here again it's date time and here I'm going to leave the format open. Uh, let me save it. Uh, let's go back here. So there you go, know, less contact. Now, here, like I said, it's supposed to be both a combination of date and time. Let me put the first uh, date, for instance, 12, 3, uh, 2014. Now that's the date. Now I, I make a space and now I input the time. Let's say 15, 32. Okay? So that's. Now it's obviously again too small and then I just widen it up and there we go right now that's uh, that's the that's the last time I, I contacted this person and like like I, like I said you know here we are combining both dates and times and the formatting of such fields is basically combining the building blocks we learned so far so basically the date I wish to um, do the date okay so that's like let's say days uh, don't get any leading zeros the month come in short form uh, the years without century and then uh, space and then the times let's say uh, HH uh, and then NN right and here in between I would like to add some text so uh, open quotation at close quotation and space it out here it doesn't matter whether you put the space inside the quotation or outside the quotation doesn't matter uh, actually access changes for you automatically and here what I, what the, the format means it shows me the date then then the time and between them you have the word at and if, if I want I can also put in front of the, the, the date uh, the word on so open quotation and don't forget text always come within quotation marks those other uh, placeholders for the for the date or the time don't come in such in, in quotation marks just static text okay and here I would like to have the word on so basically it reads then on that date at this time all right and save it and let's check it out and here we are on 12 uh, MRZ uh, short for March in German 14 that's the year at and such such time so you see it's basically nothing new we're just combining what we learned from uh, date formats and time formats combining them all in one field and like I said the input is always first the date space and then the time and then if you see once I get out of here it automatically gets that format I gave it and obviously I can also uh, uh, change the format so that first is the time let me cut it out uh, to cut something you just go Control X I cut it and click in here and paste it Control V and just have a space right let's check it out save and don't forget if you want to quickly save Control S and bang so now you got like the uh, what's here something wrong uh, I 
I got, I think I got something wrong. I, I forgot the, right, I forgot the, the semi, uh, the colons, too many colons. And here, yeah, I missed one colon, and here's one too many. Right, and now it should work. Uh, save again. Yeah, see, now I got the times in front of the year. Okay, let's try it out again. Let's give, let's input the next guy. Uh, let's say uh, 12.4.15. You see, I'm inputting always the same. First the date, space, and then the time. Let's say uh, last time I saw him was like 1836. Uh, and once I go out, the time jumps in front of the date because that was specified by the format. But like I said, the input is always the same. Yeah, let me put the last guy or the last uh, the final two guys. So here I'm gonna put in like uh, uh, 25.3.2013, uh, uh, 10. Three. Sorry, I'm just uh, missed the field. Okay, um, what did I have? Like 25.3.13 and then 10.003. Right, and so on. So you see, it's basically always the same thing. Input is always the same. Uh, date and then time but the way you format it is up to you oh yeah and another thing I forgot because again in Europe most people use those that 24 hour format uh, if you wish to have a.m. p.m. you can easily do that uh, we just let's do it with the times you just go here h h uh, sorry uh, yeah h h m m and then so H H and N and then I just I just uh, write here A M slash P M. So this way the system now knows this is not a 24 hour format but A M P M format. And if I go to view, uh, oh yeah, save. So you see now the times are A M P M. You see 12 midday is already P M. And the way I can write stuff, I, if I have a, a time in the afternoon, I can either write it like let's say 18:30. And that goes to 6.30 p.m. Or I can write it as uh, 9.30 or 32 p.m. Also automatically goes to 9.30 evening. So basically, if you wish to have afternoon times, you either write them like 18.30 and, and, and the format automatically changes to p.m. to 6.30 p.m. That's the way I put it here. Or you input 9.32 and automatically it gets to 9.32 p.m. And the format for that is this way. You just write the way we, we, we know it, H and N and S, but you add at the back uh, A and P, -M, not in quotation marks, because those are keywords. And this way the system knows that you wish here, you wish to have an A and P -M format and not the, the, the 24 hour format. Right, oh yeah, and by the way, uh, that stuff, what we did here is also valid in Excel. So basically, if I have here uh, a, a date, let's say 12.3.2016, and then let me write the time, uh, 10.13, okay? I can then format that. If I go here to format, uh, format cells, and you got all that stuff, forget about that, go to custom, and here I can, you see already the format is here, I can format my own thing, I can say DD, uh, 3m and yyy and then I can write my own stuff here now this is still set up on German but basically here under custom you can input your own uh, 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 format the same formats we used in in in, uh, in access uh, are valid here and then you would so basically what we learned today in the previous two videos can be applied to uh, Excel, right? So without any changes.